Nehemiah chapter 9. Now in the twenty and fourth day of this month, the children of Israel were assembled with fasting, and with sackcloths, and earth upon them. And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers, and stood and confessed their sins, and the iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place, and read in the book of the law of the Lord their God one fourth part of the day, and another fourth part they confessed, and worshipped the Lord their God. Then stood up upon the stairs of the Levites Jeshua and Bani, Kadmiel, Shebaniah, Buni, Sherebiah, Bani, and Chenani, and cried with a loud voice unto the Lord their God. Then the Levites, Jeshua and Kadmiel, Bani, Hashabniah, Sherebiah, Hodijah, Shebaniah, and Pethahiah said, Stand up and bless the Lord your God for ever and ever. And blessed be thy glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. Thou, even thou, art Lord alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all things that are therein, the seas and all that is therein, and thou preservest them all, and the host of heaven worshipeth thee. Thou art the Lord, the God, who didst choose Abram, and broughtest him forth out of Ur of the Chaldees, and gavest him the name of Abraham, and foundest his heart faithful before thee, and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Jebusites, and the Girgashites, to give it, I say, to a seed, and hast performed thy words, for thou art righteous. And did see the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and heardest their cry by the Red Sea, and showest signs and wonders upon Pharaoh, and on all his servants, and on all the people of his land, For thou knewest that they dealt proudly against them. So didst thou get thee a name, as it is this day. And thou didst divide the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on the dry land, and their persecutors thou threwest into the deeps, as a stone into the mighty waters. Moreover thou leddest them in the day by a cloudy pillar, and in the night by a pillar of fire to give them light in the way wherein they should go. Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai, and spakest with them from heaven, and gavest them right judgments, and true laws, good statutes, and commandments, and madest known unto them thy holy Sabbath, and commandest them precepts, statutes, and laws by the hand of Moses thy servant and gave us them bread from heaven for their hunger, and brought us forth water for them out of the rock of their, for their thirst, and promised them that they should go in to possess the land which thou hast sworn to give them. But they and our fathers dealt proudly, and hardened their necks, and hearkened not to thy commandments, and refused to obey, neither were mindful of thy wonders that thou didst among them. But hardened their necks, and in their rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage. But thou art a God ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and forsookest them not. Yea, when they had made them a molten calf, and said, This is thy God that brought thee up out of Egypt, and had wrought great provocations. Yet thou in thy manifold mercies forsookest them not in the wilderness. The pillar of the cloud departed not from them by day, to lead them in the way. Neither the pillar of fire by night, to show them light, and the way wherein they should go. Thou gavest also thy good spirit to instruct them, and withheldest not thy manna from their mouth 
and gavest them water for their thirst. Yea, forty years didst thou sustain them in the wilderness, so that they lacked nothing. Their clothes waxed not old, and their feet swelled not. Moreover, thou gavest them kingdoms and nations, and didst divide them into corners. So they possessed the land of Sihon, and the land of the king of Heshbon, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. Their children also multipliest thou as the stars of heaven, and broughtest them into the land concerning which thou hadst promised to their fathers that they should go in to possess it. So the children went in and possessed the land, and thou subduest before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gavest them into their hand with their kings and the people of the land, that they might do with them as they would. And they took strong cities and a fat land, and possessed houses full of all goods, wells digged, vineyards and olive yards and fruit trees in abundance. So they did eat and were filled and became fat and delighted themselves in thy great goodness. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs and slew thy prophets which testified against them to turn them to thee, and they wrought great provocations. Therefore thou deliveredst them into the hand of their enemies, who vexed them, and in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and according to thy manifold mercies thou gavest them saviors, who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they did evil again before thee, Therefore leftest thou them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. Yet when they returned, and cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and many times didst thou deliver them according to thy mercies, and testifiest against them, that thou mightest bring them again unto thy law. Yet they dealt proudly, and hearkened not unto thy commandments, but sinned against thy judgments, what if, which if a man do, he shall live in them, and withdrew the shoulder, and hardened their neck, and would not hear. Yet many years didst thou forbear them, and testifiest against them by thy spirit in thy prophets, yet would they not give ear. Therefore gavest thou them into the hand of the people of the lands. Nevertheless, for thy great mercy's sake, Thou didst not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for thou art a gracious and merciful God. Now therefore, our God, the great, the mighty, and the terrible God, who keepest covenant and mercy, let not all the troubles seem little before thee, that hath come upon us, on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all thy people since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day. Howbeit thou art just in all that is brought upon us, for thou hast done right, but we have done wickedly. Neither have our kings, our princes, our priests, nor our fathers kept thy law, nor hearkened unto thy commandments and thy testimonies, wherewith thou didst testify against them. For they have not served thee in their kingdom, and in thy great goodness that thou gavest them, and in the large and fat land which thou gavest before them, neither turn they from their wicked works. Behold, we are servants this day. And for the land that thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof, and the good thereof, behold, we are servants in it. And it yieldeth much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. Also they have dominion over our bodies and over our cattle at their pleasure, and we are in great distress. And because of all this we make a short covenant and write it, and our princes, Levites, and priests seal unto it. Chapter 10 Now those that sealed were... 
Nehemiah, the Tershatha, the son of Hakaliah, and Zidkijah, Sariah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pasher, Amariah, Malkijah, Hattush, Shebaniah, Malak, Haram, Meramoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Ginnathon, Baruch, Meshulam, Abijah, Mejamin, Maaziah, Bilgai, Shemaiah, these were the priests, and the Levites, both Jeshua the son of Azaniah, Binui of the sons of Henadad, Kadmiel, and their brethren, Shebaniah, Hodijah, Kelita, Peleah, Hanan, Micah, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zachor, Sherebiah, Shebaniah, Hodijah, Bani, Beninu, the chief of the people, Parosh, Pehath, Moab, Elam, Zathu, Bani, Buni, Asgad, Bibai, Adonijah, Bigvi, Aden, Ater, Hizkaijah, Azur, Hodijah, Hashem, Bezai, Harith, Anathoth, Nebai, Magpiash, Meshulam, Hezer, Meshazabil, Zadok, Jadua, Pelatiah, Hanan, Anea, Hosea, Hananiah, Hashab, Halohesh, Pileah, Shobek, Riam, Hashabna, Maaseah, and Ahijah, Hanan, Anan, Malak, Haram, Be'ana. And the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nethanims, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, every one having knowledge and having understanding. They clave to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse and into an oath to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord our, our Lord, and his judgments and his statutes, and that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. Also we made ordinances for us to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our God. for the showbread, and for the continual meat offering, and for the continual burnt offering of the Sabbaths, of the new moons, for the set feasts, and for the holy things, and for the sin offerings to make an atonement for Israel, and for all the work of the house of our God. And we cast the lots among the priests, the Levites, and the people, for the wood offering to bring it into the house of our God, after the houses of our fathers, at times appointed, year by year, to burn upon the altar of the Lord our God, as it is written in the law, and to bring the firstfruits of our ground, and the firstfruits of all fruit of all trees, year by year, unto the house of the Lord. Also the firstborn of our sons, and of our cattle, as it is written in the law, and the firstlings of our herds and of our flocks, to bring to the house of our God, unto the priests that minister in the house of our God. And that we should bring the first fruits of our dough, and our offerings, and the fruit of all manner of trees, of wine and of oil, unto the priests, to the chambers of the house of our God, and the tithes of our ground unto the Levites that the same Levites might have the tithes in all the cities of our tillage. 
And the priests, the sons of Aaron, shall be with the Levites, when the Levites take tithes, and the Levites shall bring up the tithe of all of the tithes unto the house of our God, to the chambers, into the treasure house. For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the offering of the corn of the new wine and the oil unto the chambers where are the vessels of the sanctuary and the priests that minister and the porters and the singers and we will not forsake the house of our God. Chapter 11 And the rulers of the people dwelt at Jerusalem The rest of the people also cast lots to bring one of ten to dwell in Jerusalem, the holy city, and nine parts to dwell in other cities. And the people blessed all the men that willingly offered themselves to dwell at Jerusalem. Now these are the chief of the province that dwelt in Jerusalem. But in the cities of Judah dwelt every one in his possession in their cities, to wit, Israel, the priests, and the Levites, and the Nethanims, and the children of Solomon's servants. And at Jerusalem dwelt certain of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, of the children of Judah, Athaiah, the son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalalil, of the children of Perez, and Maaseiah, the son of Baruch the son of Kosea, the son of Hazea, the son of Adea, the son of Joarib, the son of Zechariah, the son of Shiloni. All the sons of Perez that dwelt at Jerusalem were four hundred, threescore, and eight valiant men. And these are the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Joet, the son of Padea, the son of Kolea, the son of Maaseah, the son of Ithiel, the son of Jeseah. And after him, Gabai, Salai, 928. And Joel, the son of Zitri, was their overseer. And Judah, the son of Senua, was second over the city. Of the priests, Judea, the son of Joarib, Jachin. Sarea, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok the son of Meraoth, the son of Ahitub, was the ruler of the house of God. And their brethren that did the work of the house were eight hundred twenty and two. And Adaia, the son of Jeroham, the son of Peleliah, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pasher, the son of Malchiah, and his brethren, chief of the fathers, two hundred forty and two. And Amashai, the son of Azareel, the son of Ahasai, the son of Meshilamoth, the son of Immer, and their brethren, mighty men of valor, and hundred twenty and eight. And their overseer was Zabdiel, the son of one of the great men. Also of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashab, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, and Shabbatai and Josabad, of the chief of the Levites, had the oversight of the outward business of the house of God. And Mattaniah, the son of Mecha, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, was the principal to begin the thanksgiving in prayer. And Bakpukiah, the second among his brethren, and Abda, the son of Shemua, the son of Galal, the son of Jejuthun, all the Levites in the holy city, were two hundred fourscore and four. Moreover, the porters, Akab, Talman, and their brethren that kept the gates, were an hundred seventy and two. And the residue of Israel, of the priests and the Levites, were in all the cities of Judah, every one in his inheritance. But the Nethanims dwelt in Ophel, and Ziha and Gispa were over the Nethanims. The overseer also of the Levites at Jerusalem was Utzi, the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Mattaniah, the son of Micah, or Micah, 
Of the sons of Asaph, the singers were over the business of the house of God. For it was the king's commandment concerning them that a certain portion should be for the singers due for every day. And Pethahiah, the son of Meshezabel, of the children of Zerah, the son of Judah, was at the king's hand in all matters concerning the people. And for the villages with their fields, some of the children of Judah dwelt at Kirjath Arba, and in the villages thereof, and at Dibon, and in the villages thereof, and at Jechabzeel, and in the villages thereof, and at Jeshua, and at Molada, and at Bethphalet, and at Hazar Shul, and at Beersheba, and in the villages thereof, and at Ziklag, and at Mechana, and in the villages thereof, and at En-Rimon, and at Zerea, and at Jarmuth, Zenoa, Adullam, and in their villages, at Lachish, and the fields thereof, at Azekah, and in the villages thereof. And they dwelt from Beersheba unto the valley of Hinnom. The children also of Benjamin from Geba dwelt at Michmash, and Asia, and Bethel, and in their villages, and at Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, Hazer, Ramah, Gitaim, Hadid, Zeboim, Nebalot, Lod, and Ono, the valley of craftsmen, and of the Levites were divisions in Judah and in Benjamin. Chapter 12 Now these are the priests and the Levites that went up with Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, Sariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Malach, Hattush, Shechaniah, Rehub, Merimoth, Ido, Ginetho, Abijah, Miamin, Maadiah, Bilga, Shemea, and Joyarib, Judea, Salu, Amok, Hilkiah, Judea. These were the chief of the priests and of their brethren in the days of Jeshua. Moreover, the Levites, Jeshua, Benui, Kadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah, and Mataniah, which was over the thanksgiving, he and his brethren. Also Bakbakiah and Uni, their brethren were over against them in the watches. And Jeshua begat Joiakim, Joiakim also begat Eliashib, and Eliashib begat Joiada, and Joiada begat Jonathan, and Jonathan begat Jedua. And in the days of Joiakim were priests, the chief of the fathers, of Sariah, Mareah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshulam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, of Meliku, Jonathan, of Shebaniah, Joseph, of Haram, Adna, of Mereoth, Helkai, of Ido, Zechariah, of Ginnathan, Meshulam, of Abijah, Zitri, of Miniamin, of, Moed, ya, of Moediah, Piltai, of Bilga, Shemua, of Shemea, Jehanathan, and of Joy Arib, Matani, of Judea, Utsi, of Selai, Kalai, of Amok, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, of Judea, Nethaniel. The Levites in the days of Eliashib, Joiada, and Johanan, and Jedua were recorded chief of the fathers, also the priests to the reign of Darius the Persian. The sons of Levi, the chief of the fathers, were written in the book of the Chronicles, even until the days of Johanan, the son of Eliashib. And the chief of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, and Jeshua, the son of Cadmiel, with their brethren over against them, to praise and to give thanks according to the commandment of David, the man of God, 
ward over against ward, Mataniah and Bakbukiah, Obadiah, Meshulam, Talman, Akub were porters keeping the ward at the thresholds of the gates. These were in the days of Joiakim the son of Jeshua, the son of Jazadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest, the scribe. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgiving and with singing, with cymbals, psalteries, and with harps. And the sons of the singers gathered themselves together, both out of the plain country round about Jerusalem and from the villages of Netaphathi, also from the house of Gilgal and out of the fields of Geba and Asmaveth, for the singers had built in them village, villages round about Jerusalem. And the priests and the Levites purified themselves and purified the people and the gates and the wall. Then I brought up the princes of Judah upon the wall and appointed two great companies of them that gave thanks, whereof one went on the right hand upon the wall toward the dung gate. And after them went Hoshea and half of the princes of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, and Meshulam, Judah, and Benjamin, and Shemaiah, and Jeremiah, and certain of the priests' sons with trumpets, namely Zechariah the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zachor, the son of Asaph, and his brethren Shemaiah and Azarel, Milali, Gilali, Ma'ai, Nethanel, and Judah, Hanani, with the musical instruments of David, the man of God, and Ezra the scribe before them. And at the fountain gate, which was over against them, they went up by the stairs of the city of David. At the going up of the wall, above the house of David, even unto the water gate eastward. And the other company of them that gave thanks went over against them, and I after them, and the half of the people upon the wall from beyond the tower of the furnaces, even unto the broad wall. And from above the gate of Ephraim, and above the old gate, and above the fish gate, and the tower of Hananiel, and the tower of Mia even unto the sheep gate, and they stood, they stood still in the prison gate. So stood the two companies of them that gave thanks in the house of God, and I, and the half of the rulers with me, and the priests, Eliakim, Maaseah, Miniamin, Micaiah, Elioenai, Zechariah, and Hananiah, uh, with trumpets, and Maaseah, and Shemaiah, and Eliezer, and Utsi, and Jehohanan, and Melchizedek, and Elam, and Ezer, and the singers sang loud, with Jezrahiah their overseer. Also that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced. For God had made them rejoice with great joy. The wives also and the children rejoiced so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard even afar off. And at that time were some appointed over the chambers for the treasures, for the offerings, for the firstfruits, and for the tithes, to gather them, to gather into them out of the fields of the cities the portions of the law for the priests and Levites. For Judah rejoiced for the priests and for the Levites that waited. And both the singers and the porters kept the ward of their God, and the ward of the purification according to the commandment of David and of Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old there were chief of the singers and songs of praise and thanksgiving unto God. And all Israel in the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of, Ze of Nehemiah 
gave the portions of the singers and the porters, every day his portion. And they sanctified holy things unto the Levites, and the Levites sanctified them unto the children of Aaron. Chapter 13 On that day they read in the book of Moses, in the audience of the people, and therein was found written that the Ammonite and the Moabite should not come into the congregation of God forever, because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against, and hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. Howbeit our God turned the curse into a blessing. Now it came to pass, when they had heard the law, that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. And before this, Eliashib the priest, having the oversight of the chamber of the house of our God, was allied unto Tobiah. And he had prepared for him a great chamber, where aforetime they laid the meat offerings, the frankincense, and the vessels, and the tithes of the corn, the new wine, and the oil, which was commanded to be given to the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the offerings of the priests. But in all this time was not I at Jerusalem. For in the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes, king of Babylon, came I unto the king, and after certain days obtained I leave of the king. And I came to Jerusalem, and understood of the evil that Eliashib did for Tobiah, in preparing him a chamber in the courts of the house of God. And it grieved me sore. Therefore I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobiah out of the chamber. Then I commanded, and they cleansed the chambers, and thither brought I again the vessels of the house of God, with the meat offering and the frankincense. And I perceived that the portions of the Levites had not been given them, for the Levites and the singers that did the work were fled every one to his field. Then contended I with the rulers and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together and set them in their place. Then brought all Judah the tithe of the corn and the new wine and the oil unto the treasuries. And I made treasures over the treasuries, Shelemiah the priest and Zadok the scribe, and of the Levites, Padeah. And next to them was Hanan the son of Zachar, the son of Mataniah, for they were counted faithful and their office was to distribute unto their brethren. Remember me, O my God, concerning this, and wipe not out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for the offices thereof. In those days saw I and Judah some treading wine presses on the Sabbath, and bringing in sheaves and lading asses, as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. There dwelt men of Tyre also therein, which brought fish and all manner of ware, and sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah, and said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do, and profane the Sabbath day? Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring all this evil upon us and upon this city? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut, and charged that they should not be open till after the Sabbath. And some of my servants said I at the gates, that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of ware lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them, and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so again, 
I will lay hands on you. From that time forth came they no more on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of thy mercy. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourselves. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him, who was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish woman cause to sin. Shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil, to transgress against our God in marrying strange wives. And one of the sons of Joiada, the son of Eliashib, the high priest, was son-in-law to Samballat, the Horonite. Therefore I chased him from me. Remember them, O my God, because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and of the Levites. Thus cleansed I them from all strangers, and appointed the wards of the priests and the Levites, every one in his business, and for the wood offering, at times appointed, and for the first fruits. Remember me, O my God, for good.